Hello, Gemini. Thank you for tuning in to my channel. I definitely appreciate all the love and support, and I send it right back to you guys. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment. This reading resonates. Let's go ahead and see what messages are coming through for you guys at this time. Spirit of love and light, truth and clarity. What messages do you have for a sign of Gemini? Happy birthday to any Geminis that are celebrating a birthday or you will be celebrating a birthday. Spirit of love and light, truth and clarity. What messages do you have for a sign of Gemini? Okay, so reason for the reading is Page of Cups in Reverse. Page of Cups in Reverse basically is like immature emotions or someone feels like you don't feel the same way that they do or you don't feel like someone feels the same way that you do let's see here because the current situation is the five of wands in reverse and the seven of wands so you shutting several people down here because it looks like it was some sort of conflict. Oh, I'm sorry. This is the two of wands here and then the seven of wands. Either way, you are shutting some people down here who try to keep you stuck in a particular place with the two of wands being here. Because the two of wands, when it's in the upright, it talks about growth. It talks about getting out of a lack mindset. It talks about expanding your horizon. So someone who's not afraid to get out, it's like getting out of that. You're out of that manifestation period. Like you were manifesting something. Now you're ready to act on it. But when you're in the two of wands reversed, there's fears of acting on some form of manifestation here. And it looks like with the seven of wands, you're realizing that these fears came from other people. It looks like some people were forcing some sort of negative energy on you that was keeping you stuck in a particular either mindset or a particular place and you're pissed off now. The challenge here is some unwanted attention or it's just some people that don't, they're upset about some attention that you're getting. I'm really getting that it's some people here that they don't want to see you become successful. They try to keep you stuck. And it didn't work. Because what you're letting go of is the strength. You came out stronger in a particular situation. And whatever you're walking away from, it's, it, it turned into a mess. You walked away from a particular situation. As soon as your energy left that particular situation, it turned into a hot ass mess. In the particular past, you have the seven of cups. It's like there was a lot of confusion. It's like someone intentionally trying to, trying to keep you confused here. But you, because you have a good heart, you knew what to focus on here. You knew what to focus on here. 
So it allows you to come out of some sort of confusion. Now you got the Ten of Cups in reverse and Aquarius also had the Ten of Cups in reverse as something to focus on when, but it came as a, a clarifying card. This is coming up as something for you to focus on. The Ten of Cups coming up, the Ten of Cups in reverse coming up for something for you to focus on. Why do you feel so unfulfilled in a particular situation? They're wanting you to realize if you feel unfulfilled in a particular situation, it's time to remove yourself. Because some of you guys, they're explaining this situation to you because they're trying to get your attention regarding like you've been feeling unfulfilled in a particular situation. They've been trying to get your attention to get you to realize, hey, this is why you feel unfulfilled. Like you have some energies around you trying to keep you stuck in a particular mindset or a particular situation they don't want to see you successful some people here they're intentionally placing vices in front of you things that aren't healthy for you things that aren't going to benefit you they're trying to keep you distracted from the things that will benefit you in life because they want to keep you stuck in a particular place and as long as they can keep you distracted with some sort of vices here, whether it's partying, let's go out, let's kick it, whether it, whatever floats your boat, because whoever this is, they know what floats your boat and they're distracting you with it. You know, you need to be focused on something else. And they're telling you the reason why you don't feel fulfilled in this situation, they're trying to get your attention. And you'll continue not to feel, you'll continue to not feel fulfilled in this particular situation. As long as you continue to give into this energy that you know is not serving you any good. What's coming towards you is the justice in reverse. So feeling like something wasn't right in a particular situation, something wasn't fair, and this is you, this is your energy, but it's in reverse. So With your energy being in reverse, this is saying you're not feeling yourself, feeling like yourself still. So some of y'all are still around this energy knowing you need to get away from it. Hold on, because I can... So they're saying, because some of y'all have, or you're in the process of walking away from the situation, if you haven't, because this is in what you need to let go of position, the strength card. Some of y'all need, they're saying you need to work up the strength to walk away from this situation because it's a mess. And as soon as you walk away from it, your life is going to get better you're going to feel completely better. You'll feel like yourself again. Okay. My grandma used to say, 
Now, I'm pretty sure some of y'all used to hear this too. You get what you pay for. So I'm gonna tell you what, my dad used to, <laughs> my dad cheat. <laughs> he like his weed, so he, <laughs> he wasn't gonna spend a lot of money on no toys and stuff. He used to give us a couple of dollars and then he take our ass to the dollar store. <laughs> And I remember my grandma, she would spend some money on like my Barbie doll. So them things would last. My dad, he'd take my straight to the dollar store and them things fall apart the next day. My grandma would say, you get what you pay for. Cause, and you know, I understood. Cause she paid money. We go to a famous bar and some of them Barbie dolls last. Dollar Tree, them Barbie dolls ain't gonna last. The reason why I'm saying this is with justice and reverse popping up and re popping up in the reverse in your future position. To clarify, you have the seven of pentacles and the two of cups in reverse. So some of you guys, this is regarding a love situation, or this is just talking about people that you have a lot of love for. You've known them for a long time. It's a lot of history between you and these people. You have a lot of love for these people. They are basically, because it, it's basically like, this is history here, but your efforts are in vain. Your efforts are in vain. I can't, I don't remember the man who said it, but it's this inspirational speaker. And one thing that he said is, if you want to know where you're going to be 10 years from now, look at the people you surround yourself with. I'm getting, some of you guys are real hard workers. You have big dreams. You, you want to go far in life, but the people you surround yourself with are not matching up to your aspirations here. Like what? Whatever you desire to be in life, it's not matching up to the people you're surrounding yourself with. And you're wondering why you feel stuck, why you keep, you know, and they're telling you, this is why you don't feel fulfilled in life because of the en energies you're surrounding yourself with. Although you've known these people your entire life or you've known them for years, however, or this is someone that you love, you've been with this person for a long time or you feel like you invested a lot in this connection and you feel like, because I'm seeing like going towards the future is, is saying like you feel like this just ain't fair. Whatever happens here is just not right the way things play out. Because you're realizing you put all this effort into it and it was just really a waste of your time. So they're wanting you to just work up the strength to walk away now. I'm saying justice. This is Gemini. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Libra. And so I keep getting like a strong Libra energy. Or you have Libra placements. You're, you are a Libra cross washing or with strong Gemini placements. So what's, what they're wanting you to be aware of that's going on is the page of swords in reverse. So it looks like someone's talking behind your back spreading some sort of false rumors as well. I'm getting some of you guys are already aware of this, but you just didn't have any proof. Their advice for you is the three of wands to seek growth and expansion, to seek new partnerships here, to seek new horizons to see how far you can go, to explore new options, some of you guys, because they're saying that the most possible outcome if you continue down this path is the seven of swords. You'll continue to be the seed, to be mistreated.
it's not looking good if you continue to go down this path with whoever these people or this person is that you're dealing with there will continue to be some form of deception really wish it was something better i'm so sorry you guys but let's see let's see what oracle messages are coming out message is bringing up someone from the past for someone here it's saying that someone from the past suppressed a lot of emotions or a lot of feelings for someone here and they're currently wanting to connect with you they're wanting to speak with you to touch base with you to see how you're doing they're saying in the near future there will be a lot of happiness whether you guys are able to just uh, restore some sort of friendship here or if you guys are able to be in a relationship. But it's almost like whoever this is, like their eye is opening to the connection that you guys have. But this is someone that you feel... Like they never expressed themselves and you feel like there was a lot of mystery around how this person truly felt about you. They truly did suppress how they felt about you. But this is someone that you're not in contact with at all. If anything, you would just be picking up on this person intuitively. Okay, whatever this connection is, because they're still talking about this connection, they're saying it's not the time yet because either the both of you are still going through, I'm getting this person is like watching you from afar, but I'm not getting you guys are... I'm getting whoever you are, you're so focused on your healing. You're not you're not watching this person. You're not trying to see what this person is up to. You're not focused on this person at all. Cuz you have your back turned to this person. So you have completely turned your back on this situation with this person to focus on your healing. But I'm getting that you realized that it was just a matter of time before there was some sort of communication between you and this person. Some of you guys could be in the healthcare industry. Some of you guys could be teachers as well. Some of you guys could teach healthcare. 
whatever you did, some of y'all could love to wear flowers in your hair too. But I'm, and then you guys could be you guys could be done with the Scorpio hair too. I'm sorry, it just keeps coming through. But I'm, I'm saying that somewhere along the line in the past, you guys felt like you forgot who you were. Like you kind of lost who you were in the past. Whether it was dealing with a particular connection, but it looks like you met someone. Things didn't really advance in this connection. I don't see this with someone that you guys were really in a relationship with. You guys could have went on a couple of dates with this person, but it just didn't lead to the next level. In the process of the two of you going your own separate ways, you finally found yourself again. You got your power back, but you're still in the process of healing. That person also was triggered to go through some sort of healing here. But then they're wondering what you're up to. I'm getting that they've been like spying on you. But they're saying that you, like you're in this completely different energy than when they last saw you. Because they realize like you are really in love with yourself. Versus when they met you in the past, you were insecure, you weren't confident about yourself. But now you love yourself. You feel secure. There's just a completely vibe, a completely different vibe about you. So now this person is wondering how to approach you because you just don't seem interested at all. Now is just not the right time, but they're saying that it is approaching where the two of you will meet up and talk things out. Whether it's just you meet up, you talk, you go your separate ways, you guys are friends, whatever. This is not pertaining to the last spread. This is regarding to someone in particular. It's like a very specific reading for someone here. Because I know some of y'all are like, no, you don't want your ex at all. So just let it be. But this is for someone you, I'm not getting you were in a relationship with this person. But I'm not getting that anything is going to take place. Like you're not going to hear from them within the next couple of weeks. It's still a little time left for two of you to do some sort of healing here. So I'm going to leave it there. These are the messages that came through for you guys at this time. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment. This reading resonates. With that being said, you all take care.